to school. It's your time to get dressed and sit at your desk and your stress and test with the rest to see who's the best. A 16 year was. Allow me to digress. What is school for? Now, please, I understand how lucky I am to live in a country where there's freedom to receive an education. And believe me, I pledge allegiance. But what is it for when a report card is more a measure of obedience than intelligence? A way of keeping score to ensure that the doorway of opportunity is wide open so long as you keep your hand raised and mouth shut. Preparing students for a world that looks completely different by the time they leave, pushing them to achieve rather than intrigue, and we believe that this is the path to success. What are we teaching? That the ACT, SAT is a measure of who we'll be, and all we see is just a number. But the problem with that is with a standardized test, all you teach a student to be is just that standard, average, unremarkable. Is this really the goal? To create a globalization of standardization? A simplification of individualization? Please, will someone bring a revolution to this institution? An execution of this illusion that in state or out of state, the only goal is to graduate and on that date feels great because you won. Because in reality, you haven't even begun. For most, four years of university thinking amounts to nothing more than a piece of paper and plastic cups. Clinking, binge drinking with a sinking feeling that a job is probably not on the horizon. The only sure bet we get is a lap full of death and a head full of facts we're soon to forget. Forget psychology. You majored in loan payments with a minor in red solo cup. Remember French history? No. You majored in frat parties with a minor in no real world experience. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that school or college is a bad thing, but what is it for? Is it about making the grade, or is it about learning to make a difference? Is it about keeping quiet, or is it about finding your voice? Is it about being gifted, or is it about discovering your gifts? Is it about learning to walk in a single file line? Is it about forging your own path? The dictionary defines education as the process of receiving systematic instruction. I hate that. Because regardless of how you might treat them, children are not numbers. You can't set them into a simple system that consistently sets everyone to be the same. In a setting set forth by industrialists a hundred years ago teaching factory workers to be tame. So call it something different. We need a new name or definition. The second definition of education is an enlightening experience. I like that. Friends, it is essential that we get intentional to make school more experiential. Let teachers be more influential than referential, because only then will both they and their students reach their full potential. They deserve more because they're what school's for. Friends, let's fight to make school more bright, removing trite regulations and political spite. And please, let the teacher be there for more than simply telling you if you're right. Let's bring in your and if the last three or four minutes invited a change in your sight conversation, then this slight rhyme might have been worth the time. Hey, school, it's time for a change. Wake up! It's time for school to go to school.